Hey everybody, today we're doing something a little different than normal. Um, as you can see on your screen, I have a graphing calculator here. This is the NumWorks graphing calculator. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Political Meme here, and we're doing something a little different than usual. Um, just try and focus on the box again. Um, normally I do gaming videos or streams, but today I decided I would review a graphing calculator I bought last month, because I think it's, compared to the Texas Instruments ones, let me focus again, it's a pretty good value. So this is the NumWorks graphing calculator. Um, I, there's not much, the box has the front and back design though. <laughs> so one of the first things you notice on the box is it has Python support. So I'll show that. I'm not going to... I don't think there's anything identifiable on the bottom, but so NumWorks on both sides. Top is bare, bottom has barcodes and stuff. So let's go ahead and open the box. I've been playing around with it for a few weeks, but I still have most everything that was in the box. I know I shouldn't need to say this, considering the size of my channel, but I'm just going to say it anyways. This is not sponsored by NumWorks or anybody. These are all my own opinions. So if we go ahead and open the box, the calculator is right there. Looks pretty clean. <laughs> Even after my grubby mitts have been handling it for two or three weeks now. Back of it has a reset button, the model number, its place of manufacture. Again, the front's pretty clean. Just has the NumWorks logo on it. So we'll set the calculator to the side for now. So the inside of the box, if I can get it freaking open, put this back in here like five minutes ago comes with a yellow micro usb cable it's annoying but this came out in uh 2017 if i remember correctly the first model so usb c wasn't as widespread as it is now you get the safety and is there any warranty stuff in here i don't think so it's in a bunch of languages though and just how to open how to open and close the case. I don't think that was any of that was in frame. So here, a bunch of languages in here. So let's go ahead and put that back in there. I can't remember if I mentioned this already. There's a NumWork sticker that comes with it. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and put that all back in the box and close her back up. So before I get into the calculator, I'm just going to go over some of my gripes with its design. So, again, micro USB, like I just said, on both ends, the charging port is on the bottom. And this is also for data transfer. Cable goes in pretty easily. Pretty tight fit, even though it's micro USB. But pulling the cable out requires, in my opinion, somewhat excessive force. To, for micro USB cables, again, it's somewhat of a compliment, I guess, because usually these things are pretty friggin' loose. You can see the teeth pretty easily. I don't think it's going to focus on it. So, you take the cover off of the calculator. Let me show that again. If I can get it on, just kind of push the base of it, and it slides right off. That's a pretty good hold on it. Like, just shaking it around won't knock it off. I've had some calculators go loose after about a year, so we'll see. Alrighty, so, color display. I'm not entirely certain of the resolution. I'll put that on screen in editing, though. Anyways, it has a four-button D-pad, a home button, power, OK, back, that top row. Then you have your basic, well, graphing calculator buttons. A lot of the functions that aren't immediately necessary are behind either shift or alpha functions. So there's a full A to Z keyboard on here. But in order to keep it on the letters, you have to double click alpha somewhat quickly. Not too bad, it's not like the default click speed in Windows. But it's just annoying for typing, especially if you're scripting in Python, or coding in Python, and you're switching between numbers and letters quickly. But it, you just can get used to it. So let's go ahead and turn her on. It boots up fairly quickly. So let me just go through some stuff I would recommend you do first. We'll get into that button down there in a second. The brightness setting I would recommend is not max brightness. That's going to be bad for both battery and also it's just excessively bright. The lowest is readable. I'm in a fairly bright room right now, but outdoors I wouldn't recommend it. The uh, second step in brightness is probably the easiest to read. This is pretty good viewing angles. I would almost want to say it's an IPS, but I'm pretty sure it's not. 
right now I'll put the uh, all the specs you can find online on this side of the screen. And uh, anyways, so you have normal calculation for multiplying fractions. It shows you the fractional result, and it simplifies it to a decimal, which is nice. Functions, statistics, probability calculation, you can input equations for tables, here then sequences, uh, regression, there's your settings, and your external applications, which I'll show you more about after Python. So it comes with a square program, Mandelbrot, polynomials. I did not make this myself. I imported it. There's not a whole lot I had to change on this program. I'll link the original page I found this on. If I remember correctly, I had to change some definitions of the variables in it. So you can double tap alpha to lock it. So I'll just show an ellipse. That wasn't the right eye. The tangent button has the letter I on. So for this, you want to use ellipse. Let me see if it'll focus. Parentheses. So it goes A in the uh, elliptic in the ellipse like equation. So let's just make a big circle. So 100, 100, then A and B to give the uh, size from the center. You can use H and K, which will determine the center. That's the Python environment on the Now for the external app section. So there's computer-assisted calculations right here. Uh, there's a periodic table. That, what should I call it? An original Nintendo Entertainment System emulator. And this is a Game Boy emulator right here that I'm... But in order to load games on, you have to reflash the operating system. Yeah, this is best meant for just being an actual calculator unlike the Texas instrument. So let's go ahead and switch over to the website now. So I will see you guys in a moment. So this is the Numworks website. It's somewhat simplistic. There is an emulator in the browser and you can also just download. Let's go ahead and go to the My Scripts tab. So this is where you can create scripts. So here's the conics functions script I had, and then these were non-essential functions for what I needed. So I made those separate. The example scripts, again, that were on the calculator. Well, this one was. These two weren't. So it turns a GCD, and this one is a Pythagorean theorem script. So that's pretty much it for the uh, Numworks website. So let's go ahead and show you the Omega OS website. So this is a custom firmware for the Numworks calculator. There's a theme engine, um, symbolic computation, which was removed from the Numworks operating system, as it says right here in 11.2, and Omega brings that back. And again, there's external apps. There's a periodic table, which I also have on here. And it's available on the 3DS. Um, you can use it on your computer locally, and also as an Android app. You can also install it from Google Play. So, I'll go ahead and show you how to install it now. Let me just get rid of the cookies prompt. So you click on install. Now, in my camera right here, you plug in your micro USB cable to your calculator. Okay, you do need to start from an off state. Let's go ahead and plug her in now. As you can see on the Numworks website, it's picked it up. It says I don't have Omega installed right now, but I do. And these are the external apps you have available that they know of. So there's the computer algebra, there's the periodic table, and then the Nofrendo, which is NES, and Peanut Game Boy, which is Game Boy. And you can't see it because of the camera, but there's also a hex editor. So if we go back to the Numworks website, we can go ahead and click load to calculator. Well, actually, let's load the extras. So you can click load to calculator, and that just sends it right to your calculator if it's plugged in already. It's fairly, it's a fairly powerful calculator, considering. Now, let's go ahead and navigate to the Amazon page. So here's the Numworks graphing calculators page on Amazon. As you can see, it is $100, and they don't specify the capacity, I believe, but if it's 20 hours per charge on a screen that gets that bright, I would imagine it's, right now it's on sale for 104, but considering the only difference, really, the 
dedicated graphing buttons, com I would say the Gnomeworks is better because it's also the T eighty four and Texas Instruments calculators in general. I believe they use BASIC, if I remember correctly, for their programming language. While on the Gnomeworks, as you can see right here, you get Python. And Python, as I showed, is fairly simple to quickly type up a script. And if you're knowledgeable enough, you can add your own simplified graphing functions that use the turtle. All right, let's go ahead and go to my final thoughts on this. So at $100, compared to the TI-84 plus CE, I would say the Numworks is worth it. Sorry if I seemed rambly. I'm just, I didn't have a script written for this video. So yeah. I don't really have a good collection of thoughts for what I wanted to say, but I hope you still enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see other tutorials with the calculator, uh, leave those in the comments below. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, because I stream dual stream on Twitch and YouTube. I am planning on changing that to where I stream on Twitch, and then upload occasional videos on YouTube, but we'll see how that works out. So anyways, I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks to you for watching that poll and to me. Please like and subscribe here on Twitter. Follow him on Twitch at twitch.tv slash that poll and to me. I want number one. Join the Discord link in the description. Goodbye, Obama out.